Hey fellow vault dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have a quick guide for you about Nuka grenades, especially used for West Tech clear up as instigating Nuka grenades. What you need to know? First you need to know how to craft one, for that you need to learn the plan for crafting Nuka grenades. You cannot unfortunately buy the plan. So your chances, your best chances are explosive crates or on big enemies, dead bodies, you can find it. If you play the game a lot, you will naturally obtain it. Unfortunately, there is no shortcut, just searching explosive crates until you get the plan. Now, from the moment you will have the plan, you can craft those under Tinker's Workbench. What's required to craft those grenades is aluminum, fragmentation grenade and nuka cola. As well, demolition expert equip. Wherever you will be crafting those, don't forget, super duper works so you can get more grenades if you equip super duper under luck. Those grenades are doing ballistic damage and radiation damage. Radiation damage is not a good thing. It's a negative, but we care about very high ballistic damage and we want to boost it to the maximum. So assuming you got the plan, you crafted some Nuka grenades, now how you boost the Nuka grenade damage and then how you maximize your West Tech run. To boost damage of those grenades, you will need Grenadier, because grenades lose damage with range, so farther the enemies are from the explosion, the less damage they will take. Grenadier doubles the range of explosion. After that, fire in the hole, rank 1, very handy tool to place grenade exactly where you want it to go. Under endurance, it's really good to have fireproof, if you accidentally hit yourself with this grenade, you have way better chances of survival. Next, under Intelligence, you want to have Max Out Demolition Expert and the Nerd Rage. Yes, to get enough damage from those grenades for a proper clear up at West Tech, again, you will need to be very low health. I cannot do anything about it. If you'll be full health, you are just losing too much damage to still be effective. Next, under Agility, we have Max Out Adrenaline and under Luck, we have bloody mess. All those perks together are needed to get the good starting damage. Next, we need instigating weapon, which is double damage if target is full health. Does not matter what weapon. Other stars do not matter either. Can be any weapon. Any weapon with instigating, you just need to have it equipped. Now we are going into the West Tech and I will show you exactly my favorite path that works the best for me. Entering solo. What build you like to use is up to you. It can affect your speed, but it's all good as long as you can be effective. I like to run this way to the right, clear up this super mutant, his doggo, then move over there. I'm checking the bathrooms for another super mutant. We are killing them first, so our adrenaline will be fully stacked before we engage into grenade tossing. And the last one should be available through the window in here. Now we have them all on quick wheel. I have instigating weapon. I don't even have ammo for it. That's fine. If I quickly check my grenade now, it does 1000 damage and it's farther boosted by instigating. Those are my favorite toss spots for those grenades. You need to sprint away as soon as you drop the grenade. You can see amount of experience I'm getting. them aiming for the second pillar over there, running away, so I'm not being hit by those grenades. The experience value will vary for you. It's double experience weekend now, and depend how much boost you have applied. Then I'm tossing it into the doorway and as well running away. This door is open because I entered through it. And this way, West Tech is cleared, almost. 
approximately four to five super mutants will survive. You can see a doggo survived over there. And he even followed. So some enemies will survive. That's normal. If enemy is a two star or three star legendary, they will survive. They're just too tanky to be taken down by nuke a grenade. If they move too far away from the explosion point, they will survive. But generally, you will be able to clear entire West Tech in one minute, get out into Appalachia, wait one minute, counting from when loading screen starts, when you are exiting, and you will be able to repeat the process. During double experience weekend, over 100k experience per run. Without double experience weekend, about 50, uh, over 50k experience, maybe 60k experience per run, if you are fully boosted, of course. For all the experience boosts, I have separate guides, so you can check it out. And this is everything you need to know about Nuka grenades. And no, there is no other grenade that do anything like that. This is the only grenade that have insane radius, works through the walls, and I'm being interrupted and killed. Who spawned those super mutants? So we cannot even record a video in peace outside of West Tech. Some interruptions. But this is everything you need to know. If you follow the exact same path as I do, you have your instigating weapon and all the perks that are boosting the damage of new canades. You can do one minute clear up on West Tech, wait one minute outside and repeat, which gives you almost 30 runs per hour. Which is a lot, if you need to do so. If you don't, that's fine. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.